Brad, we're here in the position where you uh, hobbled off the field with two minutes ago to rapturous applause from the crowd. What did, what did that feel like at that moment? Unbelievable. I think we've spoken about at length what this Twickenham crowd can do for the team and uh, the way they got behind us today, uh, singing Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, was unbelievable. And uh, as a player, there are no better moments than coming off the field and, and having that uh, warmth and love from the crowd. What does it feel like as it, when you've been in a test match like that, but you know you've got the win, you've got the nine-point lead? How does it, how does it feel? Yeah, it's, it's obviously what we've worked hard for. Um, we've obviously been very disappointed um, and frustrated with those first two losses, being so so close. And uh, to come out today and execute a game plan that we, we planned was a, a very amazing feeling. Your face is there, it's better than the hallmarks of a really tough game. How is it and, and how tough was the game out there? It's fine. Um, I think I've spoken at length. I'm definitely not getting any prettier. And I think to, to be able to do that and put your body on the line for, for England and for the team is a, is a proud moment for me and uh, there were 22 other guys that felt the same and huge uh, commitment and dedication towards the cause. What was the key to getting that win over Australia Field? What was the key to, to winning the game? I think we spoke at length about playing in the right areas. The way in which we, we kick chase, the way in which we did, put a lot of pressure on them on this in the first half and I think that started to, to doubt themselves. Again, we're very clinical. Um, we kicked behind them, they forced two errors. First try was a, a long kick, great kick chase. Um, two very uh, good phases from us and, and Morgs goes on just under the poles. And Again, we put a, a ball into the 22, uh, forced them over the end goal line and a, a fantastic scrum by the forwards to get us going. And I think it was a, a hallmark of our game today, the way we, we manipulated them in the backfield and, and forced them into errors difficult with those runners to deal with they seem to be coming from everywhere at you guys in the back line at times yeah I think in the first half our um, three phase philosophy of, of getting off the line uh, worked brilliantly and definitely made them play from behind the gain line in the second half obviously as bodies began to tire there was a bit more space and there was a bit more flagging to do but um, even when a team makes a line break against us something we pride ourselves on is uh, the scramble D and that was fantastic today the, the way the guys worked back uh, fought hard for each other got back in line and uh, eventually um, made the tackles. How good were the pack, do you think, out there? And what does it do to your confidence as a back line when you see them doing the things they did? They were fantastic. Again, um, the, the amount of hard work and dedication they put in um, with Graham Rowntree is obviously just reward. The way they were able to get us on the front foot and uh, apply our game philosophy was uh, fantastic for us as a team. How do you feel? Finally, the defence work today. How do you feel that you live the principles that Andy Farrell always bangs on about all the time? Yeah, again, we, we're a team that uh, wants to apply a lot of pressure on teams, and that comes with uh, connectivity and line speed. Um, I think we, we nailed that for the majority of the game, and it, it gave us great field position and forced a lot of errors out of them. That team likes to hold onto the ball, and with that, if, if you give them a free rein to run, they can be dangerous. But the way the guys uh, galvanised, got off the line, stuck to their philosophies is uh, a testament to, to the hard work Andy's done with the team and the, the team buy-in. How do you feel personally? You, you didn't play a test match in New Zealand, but you just played four in a row in Twickenham. How do you feel it's gone personally? Fantastic. Obviously very pleased, uh, obviously how I've been playing and, and to be a part of this England team. It's obviously a, a very proud moment every time you pull on an England shirt and uh, obviously today is a, a day I'll savour for a long time. Wales won in Card Cardiff tonight. How do you think that Friday night game's going to be in eight weeks' time? Yeah, it's going to be incredible. I think. Uh, we, we definitely owe them one and uh, I think it's something that will be on the back of every player's mind as they go back now into club mode but always having England at the back of their head and, and thinking about Cardiff on a Friday night, it's going to be pretty special. Cheers Brad, well played tonight, thanks, thanks a lot. Cheers,